ladies. My name is Charlotte Nagai, and I am an executive director with Pampered Chef. And if you watched my first Picked Monkey video, it was showing you how to create some basic images and features that are on the free version of Pick Monkey. You can upgrade so that you have access to all these other cool features, but you don't have to. So I'm going to log out so that we're using the free version. And you don't need to click free trial or anything because that's only if you want to try out all the special features first. So today we're going to create a collage. So last time we did a, a design and we di designed a photo from scratch. And today I'm going to do a collage and show you how to make a Facebook cover. So we're going to click collages. And then down here, this is your little uh, icon that's all the layouts. So you can do all sorts of cool layouts all in a row. These are some cards. Um, some Pinteresty ones that are all funky, the tile border, you can take a look at those. So we're going to do a Facebook cover. And I never, I hardly ever use these sorts of things. I click on them and then I just move cells around. You can just move things around and customize it however you want. Oops, so you can just do all that. So first we are going to add images. So you add images and then you just pick them from your computer. Or if you've saved pictures, because you can add to Hub, any picture that you're editing and creating, you can go add to Hub. And then that saves it in your PicMonkey so you can reuse it again and again. So if there's like your company logo and things, you can just add it so you don't have to constantly look for it. So let's add some pictures from the computer. So I'm going to add some, we're going to create a basic March cover picture. So I'm going to add my guest special and my host special and then this jar opener because I love that. So you can autofill so that it automatically puts them here. Three pictures. Or you just drag them on over. I was playing around with it so I have some extra rest. And it has these stock pictures that you can use. I'm just going to X out all the ones that we don't need for now make it look as simple as possible. So I'm going to put my host special over here and then I'll put my guest special over here and then this is one of the guest specials this for March of 2017 and so I'll just put that in the middle because I really like that photo. So then you just drag it around and you click this little edit button and then you can just do fit the cell to make it automatically shrink it to fit inside a cell and a cell is one of these boxes that's a cell or you can fill it so it enlarges it to fit the cell so let's try this one let's do fill cell okay so now we have those kind of set up how we want you can click this palette and that's the background so you can just change the background however you want it make it black make it white make it colorful Click this little dropper, and then you can pick a color. I'm going to pick this green because I like to make a color that's a small portion in one of the pictures kind of pop out. So we'll do that. And you can space it so you could make no space or a lot of space. Not sure really why someone would do that. Or a little bit of space. So let's just kind of do like that. If you have separate cells, like say we take this off, then I could do cell and say I could make this one, let's choose pink, or you can use the slider too. And then I would just do a little paint. So, oh, I wanted to make that one that color. But I doubt, so I'm going to just add that back in. So you can add more pictures. You can move these cells around. You can, if you had more pictures to add, you could just keep adding them wherever you wanted them. Maybe I wanted another picture here, and so on and so on. You just drag them on over and create space. It's super easy. Sometimes the picture doesn't fit as well, and that's where you manipulate it quite a bit. So we kind of have this how we want it. Now I'm going to click Export to Editor. So that's where I can add text and different things. Now I saved this in my hub and I'll show you why in a minute. So if you wanted to put the party link in, um, in your show, you could 
customize this for every show. You can add this to the hub so it's all saved and then just open it up and put the party link. So we're going to pick a font and this is the free version so anything with a crown means that we can't use it. Um, I have the paid version so if I was logged in I could. So you don't want to use any ones that have a crown unless you want to pay for the yearly subscription. So let's just pick something basic here. Let's do some Francos one. Oh, where'd you go, Francos? Because I kind of like that one. So I'm going to type in a party website that's made up, obviously. Oops. And then I'll drag it around. I'm going to just center it inside of this middle cell. And click this center button works just kind of like word where you can left justify right justify or center and then I'm just going to drag the sizer so that it fits in there and I think we can go up just a little bit so let's go to nope definitely not 32 let's go to 31 there we go and so I'll just have it centered now you can see it's hard to read so let's make it white and maybe we should just put a little background on it what do you think? So here's this butterfly that we learned about in video one. And this is your overlays. And you have all sorts of shapes and sizes and gimmicks. I like the general one, the geometric. So we're just going to put a standard little square here. So what if we make it pink? And then we just drag it however we want it. I'll just put it right here over this text. Now each thing you do is called a layer. So this rectangle box is a layer and the text is a layer. So if I select the rectangle box and I send it backwards, it's going backwards behind the text. And then I can kind of fade it so that I can still see the image back there. But it makes the text kind of pop out. So we'll do that. And then we've just created a cover picture. And you can move it around, say, oh, I just kind of want it up here so people don't have to look low, or maybe you want it centered, or etc. One last little trick I'll show you is you see how it has this border that was on my guest images? You can do little tips and tri little tricks to erase that or cover it up. So I'm going to, I use this um, rectangle, and I'm going to go over here to the color and use the dropper, which is a color matching thing, and I'm going to match the background. So then I will just drag it over it so that that gray doesn't appear anymore. So I drag it over and then I can control C and control V or on a Mac it's command C and command V. I'm a Mac girl. And then I can just cover up that gray border so it looks a little sharper. Just drag it. So then I'll can Command C, Command V on my Mac, and put this up there, and Control C, Control V, and put this over there. And then that looks a little bit better. I could do the same thing there. And then you're done. Then you can just click Save and save it somewhere on your computer where you can find it, and you're all set. Now, I told you I saved the regular to the hub. So now say you have a, a new host, you're setting up a show, you can go open and my hub. I don't want to save this. And this you do have to have a trial membership for. I'm going to log in. And then it's here and I can just click it and open it. And then just add the text, the party link or whatever, the host name, whatever I want. And then it's super easy, you don't have to upload it each time it saves it in there. And my internet's slow. Okay, so there we go. So all we, all we do is go back and, and enter the text and then go on to the next show and the next show and so on. So super easy. So I hope you learned something today and have a fabulous